Hey everybody, it's Mama J. I'm here with some news about the channel. So going forward, it's been really difficult for Spectre and myself to get together and record videos at the same time. But we are gonna continue to put out content on the channel. He will continue to open like different anime stuff and show it off. He'll release it on his channel and he will release it on here. But if you're not subscribed to his channel, make sure you do down below. So that way, just in case you don't miss any of the drops, and he'll probably drop it there first. So make sure you, you know, jump down below and um, subscribe to Spectre Commander's channel. Also, I will continue to release videos. Some shorts, if you've noticed. Um, I've tried, uh, started making some shorts. See how they go. We'll see how that works. Um, we will also continue to do Funko videos, of course, because that's what we collect. But I also started adding to one of my other collections. So I'm going to do videos on that also. Kind of what this is. This is going to be one of the first ones. So it'll be just a quick little one to show off. But Whatnot has auctions now where you can buy vinyl records, right? What, you know? So, um, and I'm not all about my vinyl records being like perfect because if the record got play and it was a really good record and that record got lots of love, you're gonna see the wear on the record. So I'm okay with that, you know? It's not like a Funko Pop where I want it in a perfect box, don't bend it, you know, um, no creases, no dings. Yeah, I'm okay with the album covers being a little different. And to have original albums, you know, then it doesn't have to be a reprint, but it can be. It's, I'm okay with that. But if I can get a good deal on one of the auctions, I've been picking up some albums. So I'm going to share with you guys kind of the different albums I've been picking up. A couple of the albums I picked up recently, I picked up uh, Stevie Nicks, Rock a Little. This is a really awesome album. I know I have this on cassette, and I believe I have it on CD too. But when I was looking through my list, I did not see this one on an album because most of them were packed away in my parents' attic, so I'm going to have to go get them out. I did lose a large amount of my collection when I separated from Spectre's father many moons ago, but I did have some still, and like I said, they're kind of packed away in my parents' attic, because I really just had nowhere to put them out right now, but I still want to continue to build my collection. So I'm adding this one, which is really awesome. Um, Stevie Nicks sings one of my top five favorite songs that is not on this one, but it's called Landslide. If I had to pick a top, you know, those five songs, that song falls in there. But this is a really awesome record. Um, what I do like about this record too, you know, back in the day, <laughs> you know, now, you know, you, you hear a song and you're like, oh wait, what are the lyrics? And you go to the internet, pull it up and boom, you get the lyrics, right? Not back in our day. In our day, you prayed that when you pulled out an album cover or a cassette insert or even a CD cover, you prayed for lyrics. And you were happy if you got the lyrics on the album like this one. See how they got lyrics to all the songs on both sides. Um, and it was probably kind of hard to see on the camera, but they are there. That is how we would get the lyrics back then. So you had to pray that they were inside an album or Sometimes uh, rock magazines, you know, there used to be a lot of different magazines back in the day. Hit Parader, Circus, uh, God, I don't even know, tons of them. And uh, you could sometimes get lyrics in there, but not always. Usually it was you just got lucky if they printed them and put them inside the albums. But either way, uh, if you notice, this album <laughs> at the time of release was $7.25. Um, yeah, maybe back when it was released, um, 85. I was trying to see what it said. It says 85 on here, Modern Records. So maybe when it was released back then, I would have been about 15. And yeah, that's probably when an album would run. Because I would remember buying albums, but 
even at 15, um, cassettes were out. So it was albums to cassettes. You know, so yeah, I, I have a ton of cassettes, but I'm not expanding my collection on cassettes, nor am I expanding my collection on CDs, which I have quite a few of. But the albums, yeah, I want to go back and get certain ones that I'm missing by certain artists. Uh, one of the other ones I happened to pick up because I got a really good deal on it was um, I was able to grab this, which is Paul McCartney and Wings. This is a pretty cool album. Um, it does open up. It is only one disc. So, uh, but it came with like a book inside. So it opens up. Then you have a whole little thing over here where it'll give you different pictures. Like there's Paul. Okay, got, let's see, here's kind of some different facts about different members okay um, some band pictures you know and then of course it has the album but unfortunately this one is just a white sleeve with no lyrics and the little book that's inside here um, does actually have the lyrics I was just looking to see and if you turn back here to the end it does have the lyrics to the song so that's pretty cool. So it did come with the lyrics also. Um, again, Paul McCartney, awesome. You know, uh, member of the Beatles, of course. You know, uh, along with Stevie Nicks and Paul McCartney, sadly, these are two people I have never seen in concert. Um, I know my parents have seen both of them in concert. I have sadly never made it to a concert for either one of them. And that is really odd based on the fact that I've been to hundreds of concerts. But sadly, never Paul McCartney and never Stevie Nicks. So those are two that I've missed. And hopefully, hopefully at some point, maybe I'll get to see them. You know, they are both still out there. They both still perform. You never know. Never know. But we'll see what happens. Um... I do have a couple little mini mysteries I'm going to go ahead and open while I'm doing this one because they are Beatles mini mysteries. So I'm going to open them up. See what I got. So they come in little blue bags and it's Beatles Yellow Submarine, um, Titans Vinyl Figures. All right, so let's see. Oh, there we go. I was looking for the little tear, and I got... Oh, I got the yellow... Wow, I got the one in 36. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, no. I got one in 18. Okay, that's this one. Okay, I got the one in 18. But I got the submarine, which is pretty cool. It kind of has... If you look at the bottom, it kind of has that rubber ducky feeling. <laughs> So there's that one, which is really cool. All right, and then I have one more to open. So you never know. It's the Beatles Yellow Submarine. It has different characters you can get. Okay, so I'm going to open this one, see what we got. I happen to come across these. Um, this is one of the guys, I believe. Let's see. Wouldn't it be funny if we got Paul, since we just showed a Paul, you know. And we got, oh, okay, we got this guy. Um, he is, he's a one in 18 too. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, he doesn't have the hole like that either, but you can feel... turns his arms come out it's almost like they can hold things or something but um but really cool really cool i like the submarine one so i'll put both of those on display but either way anyways guys thanks for stopping by let me know what you thought of these mini mysteries i don't know i may grab a couple more 
see if I can try to come up with um, all four of the guys there, but we have to see. And uh, let me know what you thought of the albums and are albums something you collect? All right, and you know what guys? Don't forget, stay tuned. Our Patreon's at the end. If you're interested in supporting the channel, my Patreons get something every month. Uh, we also do lots of different random giveaways. I send scratch cards where they can win bonus prizes. Um, when I drop mystery boxes or other things, they get advanced purchases on them. So if you're interested in supporting the channel, you know what? Patreon links down below. If you just want to be a channel member, they usually get a card every couple months or something. And sometimes I'll do a random giveaway for them. But uh, most of the time, it's usually just a card every couple months. All right. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And please, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. See you next time.